It's the day before Easter, 2020. Was crackalacking students. Pojo tribe. You. Yeah, you. On the couch watching YouTube TV. The one that's Facebook and Instahamming, snap snapping, click clocking, quarantine streaming videos like there's no tomorrow, Netflix and chilling. You know, I never really understood what that meant. Well, anyways, I need your help. I'm on lockdown. Been on lockdown 23 days in Anaheim. In America, we call that social distancing. But really, scientists need your help. We don't totally understand the coronavirus, and we need you to help scientists understand a simulation using code to estimate and understand the spread of this disease. You're going to pick a population of your choice. That choice could be anything from New York, USA, Italy, Wuhan, South Korea, maybe even the princess cruise itself. You could also look at specific demographics, for example, age, gender, or socioeconomic status. Anyone can do this project. Repeat, anyone can do this project. No coding experience necessary, even if you're not my student. All you need is a laptop. So stop playing video games. Learn how to make video games. Jeez, people. All right, listen here. You start here, follow the clues in the description, go video by video, complete the seven coding tasks. Then you can send your Corona coding video via Screencastify to Mr. Poggio. And scientists will have a better idea of what to do. Unless you think federal, state, and local governments have this under control. Again, we need your help. So, you're going to be coding on the SL Nova platform. Your agents or turtles or dots, they're all the same thing. Okay, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Well, they will need to be coded in your space land. That's the green space that you see right here. Below, you are going to tell your code right here what to simulate in your space land. But pfft, don't look at mine. I need yours. You will create sliders to change the transmission rate for when populations initiate societal changes like virus identification, quarantines, phone apps, or even opposite extremes like herd immunity. Coding will be a challenge, but with Schoology, we can still share screens and code and communicate with one another. So I want to take you back to our last day of class. I took a picture of my board. Ominous, isn't it? Well, that was Friday, March 13th. And at that time, you guys kind of know, like learning about the right now, teachers call it civic learning. That week, we're doing a jigsaw on Corona, talking about wet market symptoms. And all week, I told you that politics would soon catch up to science. After our last day together, Friday, starting with period one all the way to period seven, I told you I believed that our last day would be today for the entire year. And check the emails daily because you already know. Mr. Poggio will be bugging. Then at the end of the day, we heard that school will be closed for a week. Thanks, Swati, for your mug. You know you teach pretty well. But it's not about the past. It's about being proactive, not reactive. Learning from the past to understand the future. So we will watch Bill Gates. His TED talk, you know, the guy who made Microsoft the second richest guy on earth. Well, we'll uh, take a look at his TED talk on the next outbreak. That's like what's happening right now with Corona. And we're also going to study the past, like the 1918 Spanish flu and the world's last pandemic. Then maybe we could get politics closer to catching up with science. I think this is why we need your code, your simulation. Remember. Agents, turtles, and dots, they're all the same thing. So I'm going to need you to go through these seven tasks. The first task for you is going to be called flower turtle. And flower turtle is where you're going to take five agents, have them leave a trail, and make the shape of a flower like you see right here. Then in, in task number two, you're going to be setting up conditionals, if-then statements, to give your turtles commands as they collide. Then, task number three, you'll create a new project and have four turtles, or agents, leave this exact trail you see here. It really tests your understanding of your new coding skills. Then, in task number four, you will set up your epidemic model to match your research for your population's data. For task number five, you're going to be adding sliders, 
and procedures to your model. And eventually task number six, you're gonna be adding a graph. And this graph is gonna collect the data from your models. And lastly, with task number seven, you will use Screencastify to record a video narrative, like what I'm doing now, your voiceover, of the theory of your spread of the coronavirus for the future. Remember, your goal is to match your research to your data, to your theory, to the code that you write. So again, this is my computer model. This is my hypothesis. I want everybody to be mindful that this is about society and like real lives. One person I know in my life lost a grandmother, a mother, and I send my condolences from the West Coast to across the pond. This is real, touching many lives. According to John Hopkins University, COVID-19 death's toll is at 107,000 today in the United States with 1.7 million testing positive with corona to date worldwide. Excuse me. So keep in mind, this is a theory, not actuality, but speculation. But take it with a grain of salt. My model theorizes re resurgences for corona in the future. So let's also keep in mind that this is about learning code, a new skill, a tool to your toolbox. And let's be real. You got anything else better to do? So without further ado, this is Mr. Poggio, and this is my COVID-19 model. Again, I wrote to the theory of the United States or the population of the United States. That's 330 dots that you see representing the 330 million people in America, our population. Each dot is essentially a million people. My legend includes four individuals, a blue or healthy person, a red who is corona positive, and yellow who would be sick with COVID-19 in the ICU, possibly requiring ventilation, and magenta for those that are immune. There you see that in my key above. I coded 20 turtles to be immune because I believe we will come to find that around 6% of the population has genetic immunity, similar to Dr. O'Brien's discovery of Delta 32, CCR5, and that gene's ability to resist the viral strand HIV and Europe's plagues of the past. The population of the immune will only increase as those that recover from corona build antibodies to protect themselves from future infections. So I coded two red turtles, or two million with COVID or sick in the United States, because I am theorizing that CNN's report today of close to 600,000 USA confirmed cases, only tested cases, and that there may be many in the population that have yet to be tested or are asymptomatic. I also coded yellow extremely ill to be removed or die in my model with a 50% probability. Most importantly, I said that when a red turtle runs into a blue healthy turtle, the healthy turtle could become infected depending upon my slider's transmission rate. And at this point, day 50, I ran this model and I predated the time frame of USA's first corona case because uh, I believe the virus was likely here weeks or months before. So at day 50, I'm gonna be changing this transmission rate all the way up to 100%. Due, number one, to the virus's incubation period being to up to 14 days, but five days on average, according to Dr. Lauer of John Hopkins University. Also, number two, due to international travel infecting new populations. And number three, the fact that Corona might have been quite unknown for uh, some time. And with this new transmission rate running my model, we'll get, to, we'll get close to day 100 which is just about where I expect we are today in the United States with the introduction of COVID-19. Well, after social distancing practice in America and the CDC's recommendations of wearing masks, literally finding, um, or excuse me, uh, using masks as well from the CDC, which was literally a week ago after almost two months of the official first case, will eventually slow down the curve and we will soon find infection rates decreasing we must see, uh, we will also see lower death rates and treatment management for COVID increasing and doing much better, even possibly without ventilation. Well, this is where we are today, around the 100 day mark. Now, after today, as infection rates decrease for some time, but then, in what? Melody. Uh oh, that's Melody. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to stop this here. Or you know what? You could just go to the descriptions, click on the like next video, and uh, just complete the theory of the spread of Corona. Oh, oh, here you go. Hey, hey, you little munchkin. Sorry, guys.
you're going to have to go to the descriptions, get to the next video link. Then from there, you can complete the model. Just follow the steps. Listen to your teacher, okay? Parents in quarantine, bet you're really starting to appreciate teachers now. Little Miss Sunshine not listening, huh? Well, Melody's a handful right now, too. But like in class, paga tu intención. Well, I hope that by the end of this COVID-19 pandemic, humans emerge from their homes with a new understanding of their relationship with the natural world and each other. So you know, we'll already know what it is, guys. Click the like button, follow me, and I'll take you on an introductory computer coding course while studying today's pandemic and coding Corona over the next seven videos. Check the links. See you guys. Peace, Mr. Poggio.